Be in this place while you're here, okay? We've, we've made a big effort to get you off campus, away from all of our you know, usual associations and worries and concerns. We're gonna spend the day out here. So try to start focusing on what's around you, noticing what you hear, what you see, what kind of plant life is here, what kind of animal life is around you. It's a very vibrant place. The important point for the next hour is that you try to open your ears and open your eyes and all of your senses and avoid talking to each other. Don't get sucked into that. Turn off your cell phones. Turn off other people in the outside world and just pay attention to what's happening. There's a lot happening around you right now. Things have actually calmed down to what they were earlier this morning when the truck came through and everything. In this spot it was dynamically different. A little tuft of titmouse was screaming bloody murder at us, letting the whole forest know there's a whole bunch of bipeds coming. So what we want you to do is walk uh, individually and just quietly observe, think, and understand, try to understand what's going on around you. Ask questions about that. We don't expect you to figure it all out in an hour. It takes years and years and years to figure it out. about half a mile up, we're going to reassemble and you're going to go out in teams of two and you're going to make observations and you're going to prioritize those observations from your value perspective. And then, hopefully you'll understand the connections with creativity after this assignment's over. Whatever's going on in your head is going to affect the outcome of what you do. So when I'm painting in nature, I try to come out here and make sure I'm in the right place. I'm open to the experience. I want to be here. I don't feel like I'm being pressured. And that way, I think that my response to all this is a little cleaner and I'm a little more open to what's going on. I'm not dialoguing in my head so much. By once I fired this sculpting, I pressed this, uh, yeah, rolled out a sculpey and pressed it up top. And you see how it comes out in the clay. This, again, um, could be utilized for carrying water. Most often, uh, when you move from one camp to another camp, you needed to carry the fire with you or struggle for a long time trying to make uh, a new fire. So by packing this um, with uh, cattails and uh, I'm just noticing things that are just now emerging are, are um, field sparrows that you hear calling out here. They sound like a ping pong ball. Boom, 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 boom. You hear them calling back here. They've, they've been down in Central America and they're just back. These little tree swallows that are flying in are good old friends. They're just back. They've been down in Central America in the last week and they just arrived back here. 